Walcott, your work on time is revolutionary. Well, I would say thank you, but in my theory of time, you've already called my work revolutionary. I've already thanked you, and I hate repeating myself, so let's move on. <laughs> Wait a minute, are, are you saying that time has multiple dimensions, the same as space? No, no, I'm not saying it. The math is saying it. Though it is the math that I invented, so yes, I guess I am saying it. <laughs> you understanding any of this? I haven't understood anything since poop tomato. <laughs> My goodness, this is incredible. See, I, I'm just not seeing where string theory fits into all this, and that's where I think that you and I could be of help to each other. Thank you, I'd be honored. All right, allow me to show you my most recent journal. Sheldon's right. This guy, this guy's brilliant. Yeah, I mean, he's a little kooky, but a mind that can reconceptualize time probably has a reason for keeping a jar of toenail clippings that we just don't understand. <laughs> I could spend months up here just going through his math. No, I think Sheldon might. Great. Who's gonna tell Amy we lost her fiance to a madman in the mountains? Hey, I drove. <laughs> so, how would this work in the context of a singularity? Yes, that's, that's, that's a tricky bit to explain. I assume you're familiar with non-abelian group theory. No, and how. Oh, you never forget your first group theory. This, I'm gonna put on a pot of coffee because there's a lot of math to go through. He said he didn't want a wild bachelor party. Excuse me? Oh, uh, Sheldon's getting married in a month. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, I'm a married man myself. Oh, really? Is she here? And alive? <laughs> and, and can people other than you see her? She lives in Munich. It's a perfect marriage. We focus on our work and send each other cards every year on our birthdays. Hey, wait, what, what month is it? Uh, April. Most years. <laughs> the point is we give each other space. I give her Europe, she gives me South America. That's where she thinks I'm living. <laughs> oh, I, I've never considered a long distance marriage. Well, listen, if you want to be a great scientist, you can't afford to be distracted. Hey. Where are my manners? You fellas must be hungry. Do you like rabbit? Yeah, yeah sure. Sounds good. <laughs> okay. But can you tell the difference between rabbit and squirrel? No, probably not. So. Great. <laughs> We're having rabbit. <laughs> be right back. amazing how much he's accomplished by isolating himself from the distractions of day-to-day -day life. Okay, please don't tell me you want to live like this. See, that's the strange thing. I don't. What is wrong with me? Why don't I want this? Look at how cool it all is. <laughs> Nothing is wrong with you. You have friends. You have a fiance. You have a full life. You know what? You're right. Thank you for bringing me up here. But I think I'm ready to go home now. Really? You don't want to stay for dinner and talk more science? No, no, we better go. I miss Amy. And my phone. <laughs> also, I'm from Texas, and I can taste the difference between rabbit and squirrel. Dinner! <laughs> Guys? I can't believe they left without saying goodbye. Wait a minute. What if they stole my work? Wait a minute. What if they were never here at all? <laughs> Wait a minute. What if they haven't gotten here yet, but they're on their way? <laughs> I better tidy up.